now available to own on video and DVD. Okay, go. Welcome back, West Ottawa. This is WBN. Thank you for confirmation, Ben. Headroom. Good morning, West Ottawa. I'm Zach Neitzel. And I'm Laura Nyman. Hello, students of West Ottawa. It's a nice, frigid day we got here. Now I go? Uh-huh. I look there? Yep. Okay. Coats. Hats. And gloves. Looks like Lauren made a video. Let's check it out. No, no, yeah. I, shoot, what am I supposed to say? Here's a scoop. Here's the scoop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here's the scoop. I, I got it. Scoop. <laughs> Here's, Here's the scoop. On me, like a good shot, like right here. And then you're gonna zoom back out and then it's gonna go to them. Good morning. <laughs> this. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I just want to make All right. All right. Yeah, you think it's bad? Is this me? This is Bobo. Are we, why is it's not on here? Caroline, why it's not on there? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's all her fault, blame her. A bit more. Yep, 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 yep. If you want to have fun talking about books. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Justin. We, yeah. Okay. Aye, aye, Captain. Fashion. Fashion. We're on cooking club. Cooking club. Wait, are we not supposed to? No, you could. You're good. Let's see what she did. We're just gonna put it right here. We're gonna put it like. Where are we? There's so much depth. For a featured video within the next few weeks. Looks like we've all we've got for. <laughs> all right. Come on, I told you. <laughs> Looks like that's all we have for you. On your Remember, hockey tryouts start today. Redo it, redo it, redo it. Music was bad. What are they doing? Get my hands <laughs> oh. Bye. Woo! Bubble shooter. That's all for today. Stay warm. Bye, y'all. Good morning, students of West Ottawa. We would like to welcome you to WOBN. I'm Double Eliminate Jojo. And I'm a dumb blonde.
was in the city Be back immediately to confiscate the money Race ground Wow My You said flowers but you said you didn't receive But you said you didn't need them That girl is a real crowd please Small world all the friends know of me Watch it fall slowly And now, our feature presentation. It's amazing. You start winning basketball games, the, the, the community, the program, the school, there's an energy. You have to imagine Coach Wintermiller, every time he brings his team out to practice, there's a, there's a fire that they, you know, they, they believe, they, they think they can do something special. Off a six and fourteen a year ago, two and eight in the OK Red. They've already surpassed the, the win total from a year ago, and they're at nine and zero on the season. In this conference, you got to bring your A game all the time. Any night, any one of these teams can knock someone else off, and you get like I said, you got to bring your best game. It would be just the Panthers' second OK Red championship since 1970, and their first since 2004. In the starting lineup for Steve Windemuller again in his third year here at West Ottawa. And I think the other thing is, what's the sixth man going to be for West Ottawa, the black hole? Are they going to be a factor in this game or not a factor? And I think they're going to do everything they can to be a factor in this game. West Ottawa and the Panthers are trying to make a statement here tonight. Seconds left in the game. Big win here on the road for West Ottawa. The Panthers have really had a team effort all season long. Undefeated West Ottawa. You know, we talked about how big a game this was for West Ottawa. Now going as I would say the most hostile environment they faced all season long. Soft was a risen of the game. That's a validation that you're a good team. And like I said. They've got young kids doing it, and it's a growing thing. West Ottawa in the all-black jerseys and the white numbers. The student section is live and in color. On the other side, the black hole is having an effect early in this game.
Cause we gon' blow your mind We gon' blow your mind We gon' blow your mind Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa We been, we been on the road, 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 road From the go, hit my blow, blow, blow You know we been down for too long to give up Can't go, I need all pesos, want it all We gon' blow your mind
What if I told you that a sure thing can become a what if? What's up, Well, We're coming to you on this festive December 2nd. This was really just a show that was unique. It was one of a kind. It was, it was really the first of its kind, and it was never shown. The fact that a second hour show didn't air is an atrocity. You have to be okay with losing everyone's sport. We don't win anymore. One of the greatest show mix-ups of the 21st century. You can still tweet at Jostens. Students live united. Spanish Club will be having two meetings during the month of December. Attention skiers and snowboarders! Paris and Bryce are bringing us the latest sports news. Perfect! Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you, Z. Thanks, <laughs> I was really disappointed. You just can't keep that. We did so much for the whole realm of WOBN. Yearbook classes, project-based learning, and real work experience at its finest. Students interested in graphic design, photography, marketing, or any aspect of written journalism will find this class an interesting challenge. Students must work together, be responsible, and manage their time to meet deadlines. The skills needed to complete the yearbook are valuable in continuing education and any career. In yearbook, you're able to go to many different events and learn what's going on in the school 
started. And at the beginning of the year, it starts out as just an idea and we play around with it. And then by May, we're giving away this ginormous book to thousands of people that they're going to hold on to for the rest of their life. Annuals Journalism is an elective class that requires students to apply for acceptance each spring. Acceptance into the class is based on attendance, English grades, GPA, and completion of the class application, which includes an essay and teacher recommendations. Students will be required to travel to events after school to get photographs, must be comfortable interviewing people, and able to work with others to meet deadlines. There are a lot of interesting shoe styles at our school. I decided to take a closer look. What is your favorite feature of those shoes? Um, that they're white. Why do you like those shoes? Go blue. What do you like about your shoes? They're really comfy and they're cute. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I really like the black laces on those shoes. They're they're pretty expensive, but you know. What is your favorite feature of these shoes? They're Nike boys. Uh, what's your favorite part about your shoes? They're comfy. <laughs> yeah, they they tie themselves. Why do you like those shoes? I like them because it's good comfort and uh, they're just pretty plain. They're really comfy. They're comfortable and they feel like socks. Every once in a while I'll have to tie them, but pretty nice. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Let's see, what'd you think of that first jump? Uh, I'm sorry, right? I'm ready to get out there and show it up. Yo, yo, how you hey, feeling? I'm feeling good. Let's get out there.
know, dude. I just gotta go for height. I went out too far on that one. I'm Zach Nitzel, and this is me. Oh, no, nah, he, he over here. Yeah, I heard he got that hot new thing. It's called Switch. Let's get it going. No one.
that we are standing with them during this time. All in! 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 for 
applying for federal and state money to get help with paying for college. Um, the ideal deadline is January 1st, and every student planning on going to college should fill it out. If you got any questions about the college application or FAFSA, see Mrs. Van Orsdal in the Student Learning Center at any time during the week during the day. When do you plan on applying for FAFSA? I'm going to apply as soon as possible. Uh, I'm going to apply sometime in December for FAFSA. I'm applying by next week. That's my goal. I already applied for FAFSA. Now available to own on video and DVD. Today's show is brought to you by The Beach Place, located at the Holland State Park. They sell quality ice cream and beach accessories for both kids and adults. It is also a place to eat and sit in the shade. Well students, the biggest event of the year is back. There will be sweat and there will be tears. I'm Danny Wynn. I'm Sam. And we're your hosts for the 2016 Senior Survivor. We're excited you guys. Got... Well students. The biggest event of the year is back. There will be sweat, and there will be tears. I'm Danny Wynn. I'm Sam Strobel. And we are your hosts for the 2016 Senior Survivor. We're excited to take you guys along this incredible journey with us. Donate now, buy shirts. Tune into our Snap Stories and our live streaming. Huge things are coming your way, Wasatawa. We're trying to make some fat stacks this year, so I better see you all donate. You guys better donate. Go to WBN Online for more information on Survivor. Let's get it started. Previously on Survivor. Last year, the survivors were able to come together and raise a combined total of over $16,000. Steph Walker went home the winner. Good morning, West Ottawa. I'm Zach Neitzel. And I'm Bryce Thomas. And we are the directors for Senior Survivor Season 3. We have a huge week coming up for you guys. We put in a lot of work and we're hoping you like it. Uh, more on that, over to where all the money goes and the real purpose to what we're doing, Mr. Reinecke. You know, when we started Senior Survivor, uh, we're now heading into our third season, but when, when it originated, um, the purpose of Senior Survivor was to raise money for um, a new account which we called WinWo, and it stands for When in Need West Ottawa. And the fundraiser is uh, devoted to uh, students throughout our district who are maybe facing some challenging times and, and have some basic needs. So uh, some things over the last few years that uh, WinWo has provided to students throughout our entire district, that's actually middle and high school, has been um, as simple as clothing, 
uh, winter coats, hats, gloves, um, hygiene uh, items. Uh, we've we've uh, been able to purchase some school supplies for students throughout the district, and uh, you know just just a variety of things that meet the basic needs of students here at West Ottawa. Um, stay tuned to Senior Survivor Season Three because we've had a committee of students working very hard to make sure that uh, just because it may be a little bit shorter this year, uh, it's still going to be awesome. Our first survivor is Alexia Gomez. She is a self-proclaimed black skin American who loves to make money. Alexia is passionate about helping others in as many ways as possible. So in the games, she won't lose sight of the real reason why she is in the competition. Our second survivor is Taylor Cliffman. She is involved in West Ottawa Dance Marathon Planning Committee, National Honor Society, and Young Life. Taylor is a wildlife leader, golfer, member and volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club for 10 years, and is an avid reader. Meet Paul Harrington, your fearless Senate leader. Paul enjoys long walks on the beach and crushing his enemies. Meet Jojo Rosales. She is the vice president of the senior class, editor-in-chief of Yearbook, and is involved in WOBN, NHS, Senior Selection Committee, and Varsity Golf. Jojo looks forward to bringing her A-game and outwit, outlast, outplay, and out fundraise her opponents. Our next survivor is Joe Sigler. Joe loves being in the water, playing water polo, swimming, and is involved in baseball. He loves Chicago Cubs, and he's in it to win it. The next survivor is Quincy Dunez. He is very passionate about everything that he's interested in, including music, cooking, and helping others. In the games, you can count on Quincy to always keep a positive attitude and try to raise the most money, because in the end, it's all going to help other people in need. Our next survivor is Maddie Farrell. She enjoys art, helping the elderly, helping kids, fellow peers, hanging out with friends, and preparing to dominate Senior Survivor. Our next survivor is Jameson Bader. In his free time, Jameson enjoys laughing, smiling, playing soccer, and getting cut from the varsity basketball team. In this competition, Jameson will be sure to make people laugh and hopefully smile, even though his best jokes probably won't make it on WOBM. Our next survivor is Wes Hook. Wes is currently participating in varsity wrestling and is coming off a stellar season on the world bench and works at Qdoba Mexican Eat. He plans to wrap up the competition like a Qdoba burrito and be home before he misses his dog squirt too much. Lucas is really interested in outdoor activities such as hunting and water sports. He's also really passionate about filmmaking and entertaining others. He's a very competitive nature person and will do whatever it takes to win. He quotes, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Meet Cody Tamavongsa. He's a whopping 6'3 and 200 pounds. He's also very friendly but a fierce competitor. He's a lax bro who enjoys lax, making cookies, and making people laugh. Our next survivor is Magdalene. She enjoys horses, doing makeup, and helping others. She likes to make people smile. In Survivor, she hopes to raise money to help others smile more. Hey survivors, we're here. We're on the island. We're ready to go. We're on location, learning everything about what survivors should do. We're ready to host you guys. And uh, here's everything new about survivors. This year's senior survivor is only three days. And this year, the directors are moving right into here. I might move in also, so you know we're gonna get some quality shows. This year we'll also be live streaming to YouTube, so even when you're at home you can check out the games live. We got a new Snapchat coming your way. Go at WBN online right now. It's another way besides the live streaming to watch Survivor from home. And welcome to the island. At the end of the day, three people will be eliminated. The money they raise will be collected at lunch, so if you want your favorite Survivor to stay in, donate now. On Sunday, nine people will move into the school. On Monday night, only seven will stay the night. And on the final night, Tuesday night, four contestants will stay the night, bringing us to our final four. The winner of Senior Survivor will be announced at the holiday assembly on Wednesday. Make sure to keep donating and check at WOBN Online for more updates.
It's the first day of Senior Survivor. Survivors are all moved in. Over six grand has been raised already. Let's get it going. Previously on Survivor. On Friday during lunch, Cody won the first immunity challenge. Wes, Alexia, and Jojo were the first to be eliminated. The students have spoken, and Jojo wins Woe Save and is back on the show. Joe has decided to drop out of the competition because of the swimming conflict, and Alexia will take his place. Pretty much. We had a swim meet scheduled for Saturday, and it got canceled due to the weather. And then uh, got rescheduled for Monday, and like Monday is like a big part of Survivor. And I don't want to miss a bunch of stuff, so I didn't really think it was fair to uh, miss a bunch of stuff when other people could be in doing the challenges and raising more money. So I decided to uh, give my spot up to uh, a different Survivor. So if you want your favorite Survivor to stay in, donate. Now. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. Are you gonna win? Oh yeah, hashtag will save Jojo. Get away from Quincy's drumming. Close it off and wake up in the morning because that's driving me insane already, but you know, repping Team Orange. Team Luke. I'm Maggie. We're pretty excited to be here today. It's been fun so far. Yeah, except for the fact that Paul decided to throw snow at us. Yeah, he attacked so. us on the way in. It wasn't very cool. Hey, I'm Paul Harrington and this is Cody Tambavangsa. Today we decided to pair up because we're the two alpha males here. I mean, like, we're the two strongest guys here. There's no reason for us not to be together. We're, we're just gonna dominate everyone, rip them apart. I don't like Paul Harrington. <laughs> and, Paul. you know, JoJo's already picking beef, you know? She already got kicked off. I think it's all a ploy. It's all a game. Double eliminate JoJo. Double eliminate JoJo. Well, I'd say that people were pretty mad that it got saved, but I mean the majority of West Ottawa wanted me to be saved, so give the people what they want, I guess. Hashtag, we'll save JoJo. Hi, I'm Quincy. I have the biggest beef with right now? Um. I gotta say Paul. Paul, what can you tell me about uh, the tweets that Quincy has been tweeting out about you making fun of you and stuff and your no, movement? That's a child's game. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna feed into that like Trump, you know? I'm just I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm feeling pretty good so far, knowing how I uh, actually started my campaign on time and uh, followed all the rules. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, Lucas Shar, and um, how did you feel today coming into the building? I felt pretty good. I felt ready for the competition, kind of scoping out my competition also, the other survivors. It's going to be cool being in school with no one else's, getting ready to spend the night. And enemies, I might need to make enemies with Jojo. She's in my sixth hour, so got to kind of start a fight and start some fundraising in that class. All 
Alright, I'm Maddie. Um, I'm Jamison Bader. Well, I just think Paul wants to fight everyone. I mean, yeah, like, if you look at his shirt, I mean, he's like a two-year-old Thin Mint. You look at it and you say, it looks good now, but then you bite into it and say, wow, it's a little stale. <laughs> Hi, birds. There will be a treasure hunt. We will assign teams and then you'll be given envelopes. And then in those envelopes will be clues to um, lead you to places. They are going across the school to find the different locations for their clues, which will lead them to the next clue and eventually lead them to Mrs. Howard's room, where they will make a kick. All right, survivors. Three, two, one, go. Right behind. Quincy are, they're coming quick behind. It's a very nice funfetti cake. Uh, we put four eggs in and we mix the batter really well. It's it's looking pretty great right now. Um, I think I think we're we're due to do for go for the dough. We're going for the dough. We lost or we didn't add oil. So what's that gonna do? That's the entire thing. All right, uh, right now I guess they're still baking. They're finishing up. It smells a little burnt here. So uh, I don't know if they're going to be good or not. Winning $300 each was Jameson Bader and Taylor Clifton. Winning $75 each was Maggie Nearspin and Manny Farrell. Giordano's today. It was really delicious. Mm, this is really good pizza. Wow. This is really good pizza. Wow. This pizza is really good. <laughs> Hello, Wasawa. Currently 4:40 a.m. Uh, we're up early and bright for our next game. Survivors, they do not know what's coming. Uh, we're waking them up, and uh, let's see what happens. And uh, I just gotta say, it's pretty early here. We're about to become the most hated people by these survivors. So uh, we it's don't really so know what's really... we don't really know what's gonna happen. So I guess we'll see. If if we're not at a school, you you'll know why. I'm gonna wake them up. Okay. Okay. Survivors! Wake up! Your next game is coming right now! Wake up!
Okay, let me explain it. When I say go, you guys will be given a minute to change. You will run to south, and then you will jump into the pool. Go, go, go. Go! Cody, what time is it? Fuck, oh, man! Cody's in second. Oh, Followed by Lucas. Jojo in fourth place. I'm gonna go right now. Go. Amy! Whoa. <laughs> How you feeling right now? Pretty good. Were you the first in? 150, I was first here. That was the worst run ever. That was like 15 degrees. Cody, you came in second. I don't know what's going on. Door's locked. Look at those frostbite feet. Paul came in first with $150. Lucas came in second with $125. Yeah. Uh, it went better than I expected, but nothing like a good early morning swim, good early morning run. It was a, uh, I don't know, it was really fun. Yeah, I really can't believe we pulled this off. Ottawa, we are now entering our second night of Senior Survival. So far, $10,700 have been raised towards charity. Let's get this show on the road. Previously on Survivor. Jameson Bader and Taylor Cliffman got first place during the baking contest, winning $300 each. Maddie Farrell and Maggie Hirspink took second place, winning $75 each. Jameson Bader won immunity by getting first place during the eating contest. Oh! Survivors! Your next game is coming right now! Cody, what time is it? Oh, man. Paul was fast and jumped into the pool first and collected $150.
ceremony survivors, congratulations on raising over $10,700 already. Three people will be eliminated tonight. The, elim the elimination ceremony will now commence. First off, Jameson Bader is safe because he won immunity last night. Maddie Farrell, unfortunately, you have been eliminated. Paul, you are safe. Cody, you are safe. Quincy, you are safe. Congratulations to the seven survivors remaining. Survivors, you are now dismissed. It's rough getting eliminated. It's just been a really fun time. I think it may be karma for hating on Paul earlier in the game. Thank you to all my supporters, to everybody who's given to me and supported me in hashtag Team Mads. Uh, it's pretty rough, but I'm pretty happy that I got to raise a lot of money for other people who need it. Thanks for everybody who helped me out and donated some money to me. Disappointed, but happy that I went ahead and had this experience. Second elimination in a row, so that should be a record. I feel pretty great that I was able to go ahead and give back to the community, family, benefited from the charity a couple years ago. For all my haters out there, haters are my motivators, and King Kong got nothing on me. It was a bit stressful. Very there's stressful. there's some drama. And exactly, we, early start. Oh, man, early God. start. Early start, 4.30 a.m. Paul started a week and a half early on his campaign, if that says <laughs> something. Big old Clifford. Yeah. Yeah. Did I ever tell you how much I love Thin Mints? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we decided we needed someone over five or six to be alpha males. I think we did really good. Yeah, I think we did well. Mm -hmm. Going around getting donations from tables and trying to compete. Everyone's being kind of shady. Mm -hmm. Like not telling us your amounts, telling us lies. So you got to kind of get into alliances with them. And I think we're kind of, this is an alliance in the making. Alliance. I won't say how much money I had, but I had uh, leftover money. Oh, thank you for supporting us. Continue. Yeah, yeah it sure. means a lot. I think it's Jameson at the moment. He's just kind of mm -hmm. sitting in the background collecting money. Won three hundred dollars on the pie yesterday, yeah, and so then we'll and see. immunity. So he's just sit pretty with a bunch of cash. So he might be our next target. Now you got to donate if he wants to win. Yeah, Quincy and I are in this together. Don't donate to Paul. Don't donate, donate to Paul or Taylor. Quincy, Quincy, Quincy. Yeah. Our Twitter beef is escalating, and uh, he's got a lot of money. Right. There, there's a lot of good competition though out there. I mean, Lucas is Lucas, Lucas. is looking the good. Uh, Nervous. Yeah, We're really very nervous. nervous. <laughs> We're going in like shaking and going around in the courtyard. It was pretty nerve wracking. Keep donating to Taylor. <laughs> keep donating to Lucas. This might be an alliance, so keep donating to both of us. Hi, I'm Tiana DeForest and I was on season one. I'm Cassie Wisving and I was also on season one. I am Ma and I was also on season one. Uh, my name is Drake. I was on season two. I'm Zach and I was also on season two. And I'm Emily and I was on season two. Um, one of my favorite memories was when I got eliminated right away. I thought that was pretty funny because I had a lot of money saved up that I didn't use. And then there was a whole whoa save mod thing which was kind of cool because I got to be back in the game. 
Well, it actually wasn't that cool because he split the money that he was going to use between me and Tiana, and then when he got put back in, he asked for it all back. In fact, the three of us were all working together, and I believe after that we didn't talk to Matt since. Um, you know, tried my hardest, but you know, sometimes you just can't win them all. But that's all right. Second place isn't that bad. The trophy was like this big. That's good stuff. Drake, how many stickers did you print out? Like thousands. Like, I'm pretty sure there's still some in like classroom somewhere. Do you see like anyone that you think is gonna win in this season? Definitely Quincy. Quincy. <laughs> I'm pulling for Cody. I think he's got what it takes. I'm pulling for JoJo. I'll go for Lucas because you know orange shirts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Survivors, please pair up with an alumni. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, we're doing an award challenge. So to start the game, current survivors are going to have to go out these doors and do three snow angels. After that, you will head upstairs directly above us for a three-legged race down this hallway. The first right, there is a spider web type maze going this way. You may not touch or break any of the webs. After that, you will untie your three-legged uh, bandana and head down the staircase. After that, as you can see down there, there's a hula hoop obstacle course. You have to go through every single hula hoop to reach the last station, which is a bucket with five balls in it. The scribe will be blindfolded, and they'll have to throw the five balls individually into the bucket. ready! Justin, is this the final? Come here. Done, 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 done. Congrats to Drake and Lucas for winning this reward challenge. All right, you guys will be playing uh, Egg Roulette. For this game, every single person will be handed an egg. There will be, all of them will be hard boiled except one. One of them will be a raw egg. Who will do enough rounds until there's only one person remaining. So whoever draws all hard boiled eggs is the winner. Get out your head. Also, you gotta crack it on top of your head. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh. Yes, it looks like our first one out is Jojo. Two, one, go. Lucas is down. We got round three coming up now. Two, one, go. Oh. Go to salt and pepper, they got some great food. Highly recommended. Love their pasta, love their bread.
Welcome to the final night of Senior Survivor. This is the third and final episode. Survivors have raised $15,000 so far. Let's get this thing going. Previously on Survivor. Alexia, Maddie, and Maggie were eliminated. Lucas and Drake got first place in the relay race, winning $300. Taylor won egg roulette and won $300. Survivors, how are you feeling? Great, great. Uh, well, uh, that might change because uh, three will be eliminated. Congratulations on raising $15,000 so far. The elimination ceremony will now commence. Cody, due to the fact you gave all your money to Paul, you have been eliminated. Quincy, you are safe. James, you are better than me. Lucas, you are safe. Taylor, you are safe. We are now down to our final two, Jojo and Paul. One of you will be safe, one of you will be eliminated. It was really close, but I'm sorry, Jojo, you have been eliminated. Congratulations. We are now down to our final four. The winner will be announced at the holiday assembly. Survivors, you are now dismissed. because the hashtag double eliminate JoJo actually went through. It's kind of hard. I mean, it, it kind of sucks me eliminated, but I get to go home and get to sleep. It was great to get to meet a lot of people that I've never met before, and I'm very thankful I did this. That's a little disappointing because I know that I raised all my money by myself. I gave all my donation money to Paul because I thought he had the best chance of moving on, and he did, thankfully. Well, I know that they had the elf alpha male alliance or whatever but um i don't know i don't think that he knew that it would be that close well led to my elimination um i don't know i'm just i'm a loser <laughs> since i was this close uh i think that i could have definitely pulled it off if cody hadn't had if he hadn't donated his money to paul because of alliance and i wasn't i wasn't gonna move on anyway i don't know if there is an alpha male <laughs> like I'm going to be at my house, so if you need someone, you can call me. Um, thanks to everyone who um, tweeted hashtag we'll save Jojo. I really appreciate the opportunity to come sleep in the school. It was definitely worth it. And I'm really proud of how much money I raised for Windmill. Thank you for donating to me and supporting me. 
We got Jojo off for the second time. I'll say something else. These people are trash. I'm gonna win. I can... I'm sitting kind of okay. Quincy's probably the weakest competitor, actually. As you can see, the squad no longer rolls deep. We lost Jameson, and uh, Cody made the ultimate sacrifice. Jojo and Paul were close, so that was kind of a surprise. It all seemed close. Yeah. Yeah, it was close between like all three of us besides Cody because he gave me the money. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it's sad to see them go. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be a boring night without them. It's a tough competition. I see your question. Sitting on this bench, so last night was a uh, was a little rough. We Bryce and I have gotten six hours of sleep the last two nights combined, and I think that it's just taken a toll on me. As far as my health, I don't know what like really Neitzel's talking about. He just woke me up and I was a little grumpy about it. Like he said, I'm very tired. Well, first of all, we didn't go to bed till like 1.30. And then something happened. My, my mind just like was like, you know, just glitching out. And I was just kind of like seeing things. And I don't know if I was awake or not, but there was somebody coming into the room that was trying to attack us. And uh, he kind of just woke me up right in the middle of the night. And I don't, I don't know how, but I had to calm him down. I don't know what he's ta talking about, a story of uh, somebody uh, trying to come in here and attack us. I don't know what happened, but the black figure was moving around and I heard noises. Mr. Clausen, all night long, uh, he kept me up, snoring. I plugged in a fan, I dragged my sleeping bag every corner of the room trying to find a quiet spot. He was trying to attack us, but uh, I just had to calm him down. Luckily, with swift action from me, we made sure that nothing happened and everyone's safe. And then we went back into the room after he saved us and uh, we went to sleep after that. So to any of the survivors that were complaining about waking up at 4.30, just know that I saved everyone's life last night. Well, I don't typically snore. All right, right now, they're making gingerbread houses. First place will get $300, second place will get $200, and third place will get $100. Fourth place will not receive any money. They will be judged on structural integrity, overall design, creativity, and presentation. Three, two, one. I'm with a special guest, Z Money. He's going to be judging the gingerbread house. With the conclusion of Miracle Minute, Lucas Char took $81. Second place was Paul Harrington. Third place was Quincy Denez. And fourth place, Taylor Cliffman. Crazy horse! Crazy horse! Crazy mm. horse! They make some crazy good food. It was really oh, crazy good. horse today. Well, West Ottawa. Thank you very much for Senior Survivor Season 3. Uh, it's been a blast, but I want to go out by letting you know there's lots of students behind the scenes that make it all happen. We have our student senate leaders, our committee chairs, and senate members that uh, have helped coordinate everything from games to fundraising, uh, logistics, uh, and, and many other things. And, ob and obviously, we have our uh, awesome WOBN crew who puts all of the footage together for those amazing shows in the morning. 
And I think it's really important uh, that we understand that these students and Mrs. Walcott and Mr. Mandrick and Ms. Renus, uh, they put in a lot of time to make sure this event is, uh, is top notch. So thank you West Ottawa for an awesome senior survivor and also thank you to these guys. Okay, what are we actually doing? We're trying to blow this blue up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get it. Oh. Who dropped it? Caroline! Hey. Caroline! It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Reinecke, he's put a lot of work into this, and we have a huge thank you planned for him. Project Reinecke's underway. <laughs> Teams, move in! Yeah. Yeah. That was all right, things are hectic right now. Survivors, they decided to trash Reinecke's office. I don't know why would they do that. Um, let's come here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you start taking this off? Yeah. Someone start. Merry Christmas, Mr. Reinecke. All right, well, first of all, I'm Zach Neitzel. And I'm Bryce Thomas. And we were the directors for the show this year. And I can really say that it was a privilege to be able to do this. Um, we're glad that you guys really enjoyed it, followed along, we appreciate all the support, and we were able to get a lot of money uh, earned here. And um, we're waiting on the total still, but we're hoping that it's going to be a bigger number than last year. So um, with the shorter schedule and everything, we, we really appreciate all the support and everything because it's all for a good cause. Yeah, thank you guys. We do have some bonus coverage of what happened behind the scenes for you after we roll the credits, so uh, don't forget to watch that. Check it out. Thanks again, guys. We have raised $17,321, and fourth place is Paul Harrington. Yeah. 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 Paul Harrington. And your 2016 Senior Survivor Champion is Lucas Shaw. And I'm here for my shipment of hundreds. Oh, Paul, yeah, I got a lot of money for you. Okay, thank you. Here you go, Paul. Oh, Have thanks so day. much. Yeah, you too. How are your stress levels? Good. I'm tired. I want to go home. <laughs> I'd like to officially award you the immunity idol for the day. Wow. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> what came first, the color or the fruit? The color. The color, the color, the color. We're just finishing up the game here. What are you working on? Uh, bumper in the final show. Danny, how do you feel? I'm feeling really great right now. <laughs> it's early in the morning. I'm up. I'm ready to go. Let's say, let's get it going. How do you feel about the temperature? It's I mean, really it's 50 really degrees it's and about zero. Here we go. We got. We got moving. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Six a.m. Waking yeah, up in the morning. Three and a half hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody watching, get on the side so you're not in these shots. Go. So how much money have we got? Um, 11, 10,600. 11, 10,000? You know what, Jerry? Um, yeah, that was 3,500 pennies. Yeah. Way too many pennies to ever, ever be on one table. How's fixing the coin counter coming? It's fixed. Nice. Jump, 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 jump. How's your experience been so far here at Survivor? Good. Having fun? Yeah. How do you feel that your sister got eliminated? It's all good. Charlie? No. Nope. Some money? 
just gotta have more, I guess. <laughs> Do that during the behind the scenes. It is behind the scenes. So Spencer, how, what do you like to eat? I eat normal food. He photosynthesizes. <laughs> hey, don't hey, junk. He ate a pancake this morning. He, he has gills. He filters nutrients. Yeah, Minnesotan newscaster. <laughs> I'm Ron Burgundy. Yeah, let him try. Let him try. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I want everyone in it. Everybody, if you're not in it. up for your New Year's celebrations. <laughs> Welcome back, West Ottawa. This is WBN. I'm Zach Neitzel. And I'm Lauren Ottoman. WBN starts now. Weightlifting starts Monday, September 12, 3 o'clock in the North High School weight room. Lifting will take place every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Intramural basketball will start on September 14, 6 o'clock in the South High School gym. Notice and reminder to students that you can use your lunch account for vending machine purchases 24-7. You need your account number and a special PIN, which can be obtained by calling the Food Service Office at 786-786. 2100. Parking permits are needed. They need to be on your car by Monday, September 26, 2016. If you fail to do so, you may be subject to a ticket. Where do you get them, you may ask? At the North Reception Desk and only at the North Reception Desk. For $25, you can be safe from tickets, paid in cash at the Reception Desk, or online using e-funds. Before you pick up your parking permit, be sure to register your car with the school. Just go to westottawa.net slash westottawa, and it is under the Parent Resources tab, Student Handbook and Parking. Are you interested in politics? Do you want to get more involved in the local politics and get to know your area elected officials? If you said yes, then you should join the West Ottawa Young Republicans. The West Ottawa Young Republicans is holding their first meeting of the year on Tuesday, September 20 at 7 a.m. The meeting will be held in Mr. Van Zanten's room, A236, in the North Building. We will be discussing some of the opportunities available to members of the club, as well as presenting some of our upcoming events. Anyone is welcome to attend, and donuts will be provided at the meeting. If you have any questions, please contact Hunter Ehrman or Alex Miller. Students Live United meeting on September 21st, Wednesday, 
at 2.50 p.m. in Mrs. Ruby's room. Seniors, your senior fee is due and may be paid at either the North or South Building Office. The senior fee is a one-time payment of $25 in which covers the senior t-shirt, senior breakfast, class gift, senior scholarship, and commencement speaker. If you have any questions, please stop by the North Office to see Ms. Stanley. Jostin's Renaissance is running a contest for a $10,000 scholarship. Applying is easy. Tweet at Jostin's, show us what you stand for, and enter to win a $10,000 scholarship. Hashtag for what I stand. Yearbook order forms and senior pictures are due October 10th. You can email your senior pictures to drenickd at westottawa.net and you can pick up your order forms for yearbooks in Mr. Drenick's room or online at the link below. Attention seniors and juniors, MC auditions for this fall's homecoming pep assembly will be held in the LGI during seminar next Tuesday. Be prepared to read a short script. Individuals or duos are welcome to... The first meeting of the Fashion Club will be on Monday, September 26th from 3 to 4 at Ms. Howard's room, A121. The first meeting of the Cooking Club will be on Monday, September 19th from 3 to 5 p.m. in Mrs. Howard's room, A138. Please bring $4 for supplies. Anime Club is holding its first meeting of the year Wednesday, September 21st in Ms. Harrigan's room, A152 in the North Building from 3 to 4. Come watch your favorite anime, share with others, and meet new people. Looks like it's time for Woe Spin. This is Woe Spin. Welcome to Woe Spin. Tonight we have a home football game against Green Haven. Tuesday, boys varsity soccer plays against Hudsonville at home. On Wednesday, boys varsity tennis plays home against Hudsonville. Green Haven's got a big win against Caledonia. This week they're looking to continue their success. Okay, so this week our football team plays home for the first time against Grand Haven, and it's going to be a neon out. So the black holes should come on soon. Tailgate starts at 5. I expect to see all you out there. It's going to be a good time. Remember, if you have news for us, submit it to our social media accounts or at wobnonline.com. 
We hope you had a great first two weeks, well, and we'll see you next time. Good morning, West Ottawa. I'm Abby. And I'm Zach. We have a great show for you today filled with the news you need to know. So stick around, and we'll be right back. Black Beatles in the city, be back immediately to confiscate the money. Right, girl. Wow. That girl is a real crowd, please. Small world, all her friends know of me. Young bull living like an old geese. Quick release the cash, watch it fall slowly. Frat girl still trying to get even. We have holiday tea with Wosui. Enjoy warm drinks and delicious desserts while being serenaded by West Ottawa's select woman, women's ensemble and friends on Sunday, December 4th at the West Ottawa Performing Arts Center at 2 and 4 p.m. This is a ticketed event. Email Mrs. Pearson, pearsonp at westottawa.net or call 786-1100 extension 6627. Spanish Club will be having two meetings during the month of December. The first will be on December 6th and the second on December 13th for our annual Christmas party. Please bring a white elephant gift to exchange for the Christmas party on the 13th. Both meetings will go from 3 to 4 p.m. in room A127. Talk to Senora Latz, Senorita McDonald, or the Spanish Club President, Naomi Lopez, for more information. It's Thursday. That means we have a College Corner video. Let's take a look. Hey, it's College Corner Day. Corner. All right, today the Air Force recruiter will be here in the North Cafeteria during lunch. And next Tuesday, December 6th, the Navy recruiter will have a presentation during seminar. Did you know Wogue Renaissance is hosting a movie night on December 9th? The event will be held at the PAC from 7 to 9 p.m. The students voted, and it has been decided that we will show the movie Elf. Tickets will be on sale the week of December 5th. Students need their IDs to get in. This event is strictly for West Ottawa High School students. We would love to see everyone there. Seniors, time is money. Please check the West Ottawa local scholarship site for scholarship opportunities. Several, several scholarships have December deadlines. The website is updated as soon as new opportunities arise. The season of giving is upon us, Whoa! It is time for Operation Toy Drive. Be sure to check with your first hour teacher for specifics on your child and start bringing in presents ASAP. It's a great way to give back to kids in our own school district. The winning first hour will receive a donut breakfast and bragging rights. So let's help make this holiday a great one. Do you know the Jake Van Tubergen? Apparently he committed somewhere for basketball. Tyler made a video about it. Let's take a closer look. So Jake, where are you going to college? Me? As many of you know, Jake Van Tubergen recently made his decision on where he's going to college. What went into your decision to commit to Grand Valley State? Uh, it's close to home and I get to play the sport that I love. It's not easy making a decision when there's athletics as well as academics involved, but he made a strong decision recently. I will be attending Grand Valley State University. The hockey team had their first home game yesterday against Rockford. The boys play Friday and Saturday at the Edge. Saturday is for the boys, so come out and support. Ninth and 10th grade students, are you interested in learning more about the IB Diploma Program? This program is an educational program for West Ottawa junior and senior students. The IB Diploma Program is highly regarded by the world's leading colleges and universities. 
If you would like to learn more, attend an informational meeting during seminar on December 1st in room A201 at the North High School. To sign up, go to bit.ly slash info sign up. Drama Club will be meeting on December 7th and 14th from 3 to 4 South High School Choir Room. Contact Aaron McDonald for more info at 17EAM01 at WestOttawa.net and the Facebook page, West Ottawa Drama Club 2016-17. Winter Athletes, if you're a freshman or a junior, or if you are a transfer student and have not yet taken an impact test for this year, please be sure to sign up for an impact testing date. All information and the sign-up form for impact testing can be found on the Athletics website. Please contact Jenna or Frank with questions. They are the trainers. The West Ottawa Jungle Committee is holding a silent auction on December 16th during the boys basketball game against Holland High. The auction will take place in the cafeteria from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please join us and finish your holiday shopping with us. Looks like that's all we have for today. Have a great day. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. Now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say good night. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sunbeams will do Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Hey, this is out. Fell. Fell. He's not studying a ice cream after anti-bullying day? Yeah, I did. I made a video. So here's the scoop. Here's the scoop. My name is Layla Salinas, and I was in charge of putting the ice cream for our school for the anti-bullying. My dad and his company, Hudson Bought Ice Cream, provided that ice cream. I did it because I wanted to do it for the anti-bullying. I wanted to make a difference. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it, and thank you everyone who signed the post and who got ice cream. Pat and I really like the ice cream from Huntsville. We really appreciated it. And it was very good. Yeah, I love it. Thanks a lot. Thank you for the ice cream. It was very tasty and scrumptious. Layla, thank you for the ice cream. If you want to have fun talking about books, eat yummy food, and make crafts, then West Ottawa Book Club is for you. We meet once a week on Tuesdays from 3 to 4 in Mrs. Kirkendall's room 112 at the South High School. Our next meeting is today, and we will be starting our fantasy month. 
Seniors, if you're interested in applying for the MHSAA Scholar Athlete Award, stop into the athletic office for an application form. The next cooking club will be on November 15th. We will be having a Thanksgiving dinner party. Please bring $5 to help pay for the cost of supplies. We will be meeting in Mrs. Howard's room, A138. Come and have some great Thanksgiving food. It's Tuesday. Looks like we have a Twitter poll for you at WOBN Online on Twitter. So, check it out. If you ordered a yearbook last year, you may pick up your spring supplement in Drenix Room 171 North anytime before school or after school. Looks like that's all we have for you today, Will. The hockey season starts today. On the corner of first and out. This year's hockey team is 7-3-2. Uh, and two. Seven wins, three losses. Two overtime losses. But the team's doing well. We're uh, playing as a team more so than the years in the past. We're really coming together as a team. I think we uh, recently we've been picking up the pace. This week, Friday and Saturday, we have two home games. One against Kenowa and one against East Grand Rapids. Be there to support your squad. My name is Layla Salinas, and I was in charge of putting the ice cream for our school for the anti-bullying. My dad and his company, Hudson Bought Ice Cream, provided that ice cream. I did it because I wanted to do it for the anti-bullying. I wanted to make a difference for people. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it, and thank you everyone who signed the post and who got ice cream. I hope you all enjoyed it. The ice cream. It was very tasty and scrumptious. Layla, thank you for the ice cream. Turn it up! Somebody save your soul cause you've been sinning in the city. I know too many troubles, all these lovers got you lost. MIPA was a broadcasting conference that uh, a lot of schools around the state went to to learn more about broadcasting. I love MIPA. I learned how to do lots of things like edit video on Adobe Premiere and hopefully make our shows better. MIPA really changed my view on video editing because I got a behind the scenes view on how videos are edited and why people do the things that they do in video editing. At MOPA, I learned how to make a sports highlights tape, and I think it will really improve our WOBN shows. I had so much fun at MIPA. It was such a great learning experience. It was so touching just to see how much video you can edit, and I just, I just want to go back to the winter conference so bad. And it's not about learning how to edit, it's about it's about doing it the right way. The right way. The Mippo way. Mippo! I love Mippo! Isabel Snope. I am a junior and our family friend Peter Timmer he was in the Marines for eight years and was a sergeant. Um, I'm Sarah Sherlo. I'm a freshman and so my aunt and both of my grandfathers served in the military. My name is Ashley Blumendahl. I'm in ninth grade and my grandfather served in the Vietnam War. My name is Savannah Walsh. I'm a ninth grader and this is my dad. My name is Draven. I'm in 10th grade and I, my grandpa was in the Vietnam War. My name is Medin Durty and I'm in the 11th grade and my uncle James Clendenning served in the Navy and to honor him my grandpa Jerry Clendenning served in the Honor Guard for the Holland VFW.
Hi, my name's Austin Ball. Um, my grandpa worked in the military as a medic. My name is Stephanie Morrow. I'm a freshman and I actually used to volunteer once a week at a veteran's home. Hi, my name is Mary Dupre and I'm a teacher at West Ottawa High School. And I am um, privileged to have the opportunity to share um, a few um, pieces of information about um, some of my family members. Hi, I'm Mrs. Cheney, a teacher here at West Ottawa High School. And um, I am here to honor and talk about my great aunt, Florence Vanderwoody, who served as a nurse in World War II. My name is Brandon Scarborough. I am a junior at West Ottawa. My dad served in the Gulf War, Marine Corps. My name is Joey Chapman. I'm in 10th grade and my grandpa served in the Vietnam War as a corpsman. My name is Skylar Gore. I'm in 12th grade and my stepdad served in the Navy for 20 years. My father served briefly in the Korean War as an MP. His duties were primarily in um, Germany. My uncle Chuck, Charles Bodie, is my mother's older brother and he served in World War II. My dad had served in the army for 18 and a half years and he did two tours in Afghanistan and one in Guantanamo Bay and then he was medically discharged for both his knees. Peter Timmer, while he was in a war in Afghanistan, he was on a truck with other Marines and there was an explosion near the truck and the truck exploded and he was thrown from the truck 100 feet and he still faces physical repercussions from that day. She volunteered for the Army when she was 27 years old. She went to Europe um, and was on the front lines as an Army nurse. So I knew Michael Barnaby and he was in the Vietnam War and he had a lot of experiences. He was just in the Army so he got to like actually go out onto the field and fight and so he was just a really nice person and he had been through a lot. He had his leg amputated. She said that they'd be doing surgery and they could hear the buzz bombs coming and they would make like a buzzing noise but then right before they detonated um, they would go silent and so when the bombs went silent they would take the sheets and they would quickly cover the soldier that they were doing the surgery on and lay their bodies over the soldier to protect him and then as soon as the bomb detonated um, they would uncover him and resume surgery and I just remember thinking like wow that is incredible bravery and she volunteered um, to help these people and to help our country. You see my uncle witnessed the first flag, the first U.S. flag being raised in Iwo Jima. Many of you have a picture in your mind maybe right now of that famous flag. You know, the one with all the soldiers kind of leaning into that pole and trying to get that U.S. flag to fly very high and proud after that battle. Well, there was actually a first flag and my uncle saw that first raising of the flag. Well, both of my grandpas and my aunt have all served and all of them have been injured from being in war, so it was pretty difficult for them to come back and it impacted my whole family. Through his uh, experience, he's earned a Purple Heart and a Bronze Star. My grandpa, Jerry Clendenin, he was in the Honor Guard during the, uh, with the VFW, which is Veterans of Foreign Wars in Holland, Michigan where he would do gun salutes for veteran funerals and he would watch in different parades. The things that she did and I, it just, it really, really is important to me because she was so brave and so willing to sacrifice for us and that's why Veterans Day is so important to me. It makes me want to take step, more steps and be more confident with a lot of more things. Since he was confident enough to go into the war, I should be confident enough to do other things instead of always being shy and in a shell. His service has influenced me so much that I plan on joining the Marine Corps and following in his footsteps. Kind of encouraged me to be more polite and treat others like he would have done with his friends in the Navy. It's changed a lot about how I treat other people. It's taught me a lot about discipline. It shows me to never give up and just keep on going and that there's going to be a lot of hardships in life, but you just have to get through them and make the best of what you have. I kind of live in like a military house, so it kind of trained me to decide that I'm going to go into the Air Force after graduation. Veterans Day means to me that we honor the people who are serving or served and gave their lives up for our country. It makes me honor the veterans much more because now I have some more stories and more understanding for what they had to go through to give us rights and freedoms that we do and to keep us safe. 
and it makes me more compassionate towards those people who have fought for our country. For the people that do know veterans, then they should thank them and tell them how much they appreciate their service because they have done a lot to serve our country. And if you don't know veterans, then just be thankful for what they did for you and for how they helped our country and made it a better place to live. Lots of servicemen and women um, don't really brag about it. They just, um, they do their duty. Um, they do it um, willingly and selflessly. And for many, many people, um, it costs them their lives. So whenever I see someone wearing the Vietnam veteran war hat, I always shake their hand and thank them for their service. So on Veterans Day, I just think it's really important that we remember all of those who serve to protect our freedom. Just so many freedoms that I, I just hope I never take for granted. And I'm so grateful that we have an opportunity uh, every November 11 to pause our day to recognize these people.